Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nathan here. As a content creator here on YouTube, even though I am sort of small, I'm always trying to think about ideas and I'm always open-minded about new stuff that I can actually put out for you guys and stuff that you'll actually enjoy and have a kick from. So I was just thinking, I'm like, you know what? Gaming news is pretty big nowadays, um, especially since, you know, YouTube themselves even made an entire YouTube gaming thing. So it's like, why not make a YouTube sort of um, well, this is already YouTube, obviously, never mind that. Um, why not make a gaming news series every week? So, um, I was sort of thinking, like, you know, everything that happens, like, anything big that's announced or any, you know, any, how do I say it, like, more mainstream sort of gaming stuff that actually happens throughout the week, I'll let you guys know on, like, um, if, well, if anything does happen, then I'll let you guys know that week. And if it doesn't, then I don't know, I'll, like, accumulate it from, like, one or two weeks, and then I'll see what happens from there. So, but, like, this is the first video of the series hopefully it does become a series if you guys like the video and enjoy it and you know leave some feedback if you guys want or just private message it to me anything you guys want but big this week call of duty literally came out and said that black ops 3 will be on last gen but sadly there will not be campaign mode on last gen which really sucks for all you last gen people out there i'm not trying to be mean or anything i'm just saying like um i mean i still have my ps3 you know but um, I have ways, like, I'm a PC gamer now, I mean, I still console game, but for, like, all you console gamers out there, like, PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, um, you really wouldn't have the option to play the Black Ops 3 campaign unless you guys got a PC, a gaming PC, or a next-gen console, which kind of sucks, honestly, it really does, but on the bright side, multiplayer will be back for old gen and also zombies i'm not sure if the whole zombies experience will be on there the reason why treyarch did this is because oh yeah once again treyarch is not developing this two other studios are like they said before but the reason why treyarch did this their explanation for this is that all the content will not fit for the format and hardware for the old gen consoles that's their excuse so i don't know let's see how that goes i mean obviously eventually they're having to stray from the old gen consoles and slowly move up and, you know, this is like the second game that's going to be sort of ported for old gen. Which, I mean, you know, eventually, let's just say by next year, they might not even, you know, make it for old gen. So we still got to be thankful for that, I guess. Another big thing is that Konami, or Konami, however you guys say that, um, they came out and said that they're not, they're still develop. they didn't deny the fact that they're, well, they actually did. They denied the fact that they're not making AAA titles. Which is sort of weird, because, you know, Kudami, all the crazy stuff that's been happening, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know. So, they came out and said that they're not actually done making AAA titles, which is actually a good sign. You know, more games in the gaming industry, because a lot of the stuff right now is getting repetitive. You know, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, Battlefield. So, let's just see how that goes. Also, Twitch TV has come to PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation Vita. Now, as most of you guys know, you could have, like, gone a long way out to actually have access to Twitch on the PlayStation devices, but it was possible, but it was like really complicated, but now they just made it simple, an app is sort of supposed to come out pretty soon, and that'll really be fun because, you know, MLG is coming to PlayStation, and that really changed it up, so eventually they had to bring Twitch out, so I sort of agree with this because, you know, a lot of PlayStation stuff, you know, it's not going to be as complicated as it was before, so that's a really good sign. Now switching over to the side of virtual reality, Oculus Rift's Epic Games, they sort of released a, well, they actually revealed a first-person shooter that's going to be coming out on the Ocul Ocul ugh, ugh, that was horrible. Oculus Rift pretty soon called Bullet Train. Now, as you guys know, like, the first thing that probably ticked in most gamers' mind is that song that most people use for the montages. But no, it's ha it probably has nothing to do with that. The first-person shooter's name is Bullet Train. It's going to be out on the Oculus Rift pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. And judging based on how many games are getting delayed nowadays, Hitman was also delayed up until 2016, which isn't really that surprising. Especially, yeah, I mean, it's Hitman. Batman got delayed, Hitman, you know, Hale, everything's getting delayed, so I'm really not surprised about that. You know what, what next? Uh, Call of Duty, possibly? I don't think Call of Duty's gonna get delayed, but yeah, Hitman is really, ugh, delayed. And most of you guys who have been keeping up with Naughty Dog stuff know that this dude from Naughty Dog, one of the story writers, I think, he had an interview and he accidentally slipped on possibly some clues leading towards Uncharted, you know, The Last of Us 2, which is actually pretty insane. So I think it sort of went like this. It, they were having an interview with him. It's like, so on the first Naughty Dog game and that he, like he sort of stopped. It's like, did I say the first Naughty Dog game? Oops. Sort of like that moment. But yeah, that just sort of gives it away that possibly they're actually having ideas that Naughty Dog's the Last of Us 2 may be in stock for us for, I don't know, next year's E3, we might see it, so it might come out, like, I don't know, 2017 or 2018, but at least it's on the horizon, at least a lot of fans are going to be pleased by hearing this. 
So to finish off this first episode of gaming news, or whatever I'm going to call this series, I'm not really sure yet. But to finish it off, um, something pretty funny actually. This dude, a motorist, was arrested and put in jail for, you know, motorist reasons. Like he was speeding or something happened um, with a motorized vehicle. And when the cops interrogated him, he said he learned to drive on the PlayStation. So obviously he's been playing too many racing games and he got into some crime or something, some speeding ticket or something happened and he got arrested and that's the answer he gave the cops. Now that's freaking hilarious. I want to hear you guys thoughts on this and I, I don't know, like this is one of the most odd things ever. You, uh, it sort of reminds me of that Nicaragua stuff with um, Raul Noriega or what, what um, was it? Was it Raul Noriega? Something Noriega and Black Ops 2. It sort of reminds me of that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, it's some r pretty hilarious stuff. Let me know what you guys thought about this first episode. If you guys like it, um, be sure to destroy that like button. Subscribe if you guys already have. And leave some comment or feedback, either personally or in the comment section below, if I should do the next episode or not. Probably next week or whenever more gaming news comes out for you guys, and I'll provide you with it. And hopefully you guys have had an amazing day, and hopefully you guys continue to have an amazing day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I've been looking for a way out.